Hello everyone, my name is Justin and welcome back to the Boston Bruins GMO series. In the last episode, I decided we are going to tank. I traded away a bunch of our players. Uh, we drafted a defenseman, an elite defenseman uh, in that process and some other pieces. Um, so I decided we are going to try to tank and, and rebuild successfully this year. Um, I did a little bit of a kind of a rebuild after the first year and a half. Uh, not as well as I should have done. Um, you know, I would just skip over this season because you probably don't want to watch me simulate, but I don't want people to think that I uh, went out and went back in if I didn't get a bad enough record. We're just going to roll with this. So I decided I'm not going to sign guys like Venberg or Johansson or Backstrom. Uh, yes, I want I want Geet to do decent. Um, but he can do decent with... Uh, Pasternak and DeBrusque. Uh, but the problem is, I want guys for like to play with Valiardi and do decent. So that's what we're going to have to try to do here. First off, I just want to get some depth players. Um, but what about a guy like. <laughs> a guy like Brandon Sod. Look how much cap space we have. We have twenty nine million. I know what you're thinking. If you want to do bad, um, then don't sign an eighty seven year old player. But remember, not only do we want to do bad, but we want our players to grow. Um, so I'm thinking Pasternak will help Geet on the first line, and then Sod can help Valley Ed. Maybe we should get a sniper. Jaden Schwartz. No, I think they'll be fine with the guys we have. I don't want to make the mistake that I made. Um, maybe a guy like Gergensen. Just for depth and stuff. Um, I don't want to make the mistake that I made before. I want to put an actual NHL team on the ice. I don't want to get 60 overall guys just so I lose. Uh, I don't want any defensemen. Goalies, I want a starter for the AHL. Um, we have the elite overall goalie. I should probably learn the names of our prospects. We have an elite overall goalie, but I don't think he'll be ready to start in the AHL next year. Probably be the backup. We don't need any defensemen. We're good there. See if there's any potential guys we can pick up. This guy right here. And what about forwards? Uh, we already offered a few guys some contracts. So I think that's good for now. We'll see if we have to add any pieces. Um, actually, we're going to trade away Robin Lehner. I know that for a fact. We're going to trade away Robin Lehner. Not Lehner. Uh, Subban at the beginning of the year. So I'll need a goaltender to back up Robin Lehner. Okay. So our goal is to get in the top five. I want an elite. You know, I might as well just talk about the draft right now. But I want to draft this year. I want to get in the top five. We have our goalie in the future, hopefully. We have an elite defenseman. We have a Geet. And that's... That's really it as far as top notch prospects. We have Pashtunok, who I've held on to. He's technically a first liner, but maybe get a sniper for Geet. We have an option. Actually, let me say it. Put it this way. I want to get a top five pick in the next two drafts. That's what I want to do. And then we're gonna start trying to win. So two bad years. 
I'm a firm believer that to win the Stanley Cup, um, obviously there's exceptions. You don't have to have certain things, but to give yourself a good chance, you should have five. You should have five of the big six. I like to call them: three first line forwards, two top two defensemen, and a elite goalie. So that gives us the choice. If we can get two forwards, a forward this year and a forward next year, elite, hopefully elite potential, but then we'll only have one top two defenseman, or we can try to get by with only two first line forwards. So it's just a matter of free agency also gives into factor. So we shouldn't really, I mean, we can just, I could give all these possibilities right now, but we'll just wait till the time comes. But I do want to get a first line forward or top two defensemen, preferably forward, um, just because we only have one elite forward of the future. We could really use someone to play next to him. So that's the plan. Comtois looks like he's going to be a bust. He's 23 now. He's not growing very much, and he's probably not going to grow anymore. And I really wish that pick would have worked out for us, but that's partially why our first rebuild didn't work. He was a he didn't grow. Uh, I don't think there's anything I did. I put him on a good a a decent AHL team, actually pretty good in some of the years. So I don't I don't know what I could have done there. But we want to pick prospects that are hopefully gonna grow. Hopefully our 62 overall elite defenseman grows. Since this is taking a while, I'm going to probably edit the lines and whatnot. Actually, I'll make the trades. And then I'll edit the lines. You know what? We're here. So, we wanted to trade Dougie Hamilton and Subban. Let's do that. We can do it for prospects or picks. We want to give them to teams who are going to be hopefully decent this year. Makes it actually. Dougie Hamilton's only 28. We can give him to a bad team, get a good first round pick. Because you think about it, a bad team wanting a top two defenseman. I mean, why wouldn't you trade? He's technically top four, but he's pretty much a top two defenseman with the points he gets. For 28, he's still got five years of. Great hockey left, at least. So we'll have to. I'll have to look into that. I'm gonna have to pre-scout for this stuff, guys. So I will be back. Uh, let me just show you. Let's just look over real quick our team here. So centers Geets up to an 87. He was an 85, I believe, or 80. He ended off the year 85. I think he started off last year as an 83. So if he can get up to like an 88, 89 this, by the end of the regular season, that'd be huge. His puck skills are great. His shooting is pretty great. His skating's good. His senses are good. Even He could even play penalty kill if we wanted him to. This guy's going to be a great player, hopefully. Koklachev, Valiardi, and then Gargantins. There's our four centers. Somehow, this Bakos, our first overall bust, still has high trade value. 74 overall, 20 high top nine. He could end up being a second liner, potentially. That'd be kind of nice. But we also have Valiardi, who's the same playmaker, but he's top six potential. So, left wings. Comtois. I think we got to play him in the NHL. If he's going to grow at all. Because he stayed at 79. He's had good years in the AHL. Two good years. I think we just got to play him. And hope for the best. He's not very good offensively. He's a problem. So we have DeBrus, Quatrero, Jung, and Sunquist. There's four. Maybe we won't play Comtois because he's not... Well, I don't know. Depostinox, Metheson, Islander, one of these. See, we got four there. Hopefully our defenseman is close to 70, our elite defenseman. 
62 didn't grow at all. I didn't actually, yeah, he was only, that makes sense. Hopefully he's close to 70 by the end of this season, at least. And then goalies, yeah, Hakanarian should be a backup, I think. Not quite ready to start, maybe by the end of the year. Okay, I'm going to pre-scout some trades, and I will be right back. Okay, everyone, it's time to do our trades, and I'm going to do my best to explain why the trades I'm going to make make sense. Um, you can disagree with them. You know, know when it, not everybody agrees on everything. Um, you can let me know that you disagree on them. Um, that's fine. So, Dougie Hamilton is 28 years old. He's pretty much a top two defenseman. I think he is a top two defenseman. Um, so, I said I said earlier he can go to a rebuilding team. Who wants pretty much what Cam Fowler was for us, even though we didn't end up winning anything. That veteran, that stud veteran, veteran on the, the back end. Um, I know what you're saying. A rebuilding team wouldn't really give up a first round pick in most cases. Um, but they want to give up their first round pick and their third. They, they're listed as a rebuilder. But if we look at this, the reason they want to give up their, fir their uh, first round pick, first off, they're going to be bad next year too, probably. But when we look at, look at this, they already have... A bright future. I mean, they already have two first liners drafted right here. They'll probably both. They can play on the same line, so you won't have two centers. So you got two two way forwards here. You either got a one two punch down the middle, a third overall pick, and a first overall pick, or you got two line mates. You got Couture, who's a good veteran for this team. This guy right here, Gregor, is only 27. He could still even grow. I know he's listed as top nine, but that doesn't really matter. Bodker, a veteran. This guy right here, Hurdle, 20, only 27 still. They have high top nine, low elite. And they have these guys, 25 and 26. Their forward court for the future is pretty much set. Maybe you add a piece or two in free agency, but they have a good core. They had some top six guys down here too. Defensively, we are helping them out, and they don't really have prospects in defense, but these guys are both young. Oh, I don't want to do that. These guys are, all three of these guys are young. You got your top six pairing here. We're giving them uh, Hamilton, and they can really fill in the rest of your three agency. If you have a good offense, you don't need the best defense out there. Plus, they can draft next year. Uh, and we're leaving them with their second round pick. They could get a decent player there. So that's why I think this trade makes sense. Like I said, you'll probably, you might disagree with me. Not probably, you might. We might have to retain some of his salary just to make it even more fair. Our value is definitely bigger than what they have over here. Trade rejected. Your offer is still on our needs, but the value just isn't where it needs to be at. You see it. You want this guy. You want to get rid of these three. I know this is a this first overall this first round pick could end up being really good. That might be why. But the value on my side's bigger. Okay. We we'll even throw in a prospect. Uh if you hit X, that's how you sort in Madden. I even I want to put that guy in there. Sure, I even throw away, put in Alenko. Why didn't he go in? I'll even put in, I don't know if I want to put in Alenko. We'll do it anyway, just for the heck of it. Trade rejected. We could live what you're sending us. Your offers will be in the basement. You see, you, they want to give this up and they're saying we're not following their trade block.
I mean, I don't know what, I don't want to completely get ripped off here. I know this first round pick could end up being really good. That's kind of what we expect it to be. Let me see if I retain some of his salary. If that's what they're crying about. I know they didn't say that, but sometimes that could help a trade go through. We might as well retain 50% because we are far behind on, we are far below the cap minimum right now. We're going to have to sign someone. Still no. Holy crap. If this doesn't end up paying off, if this doesn't end up paying off, then this is going to look really bad on my part. But I have faith that this will be its a really good pick for us. He top five, I'm hoping. I don't want to give up shrimp. He's probably not going to be anything. He's only 60 overall. Yeah, you know, we'll give, we'll give up shrimp. If he's going to end up being anything, it's going to be in five years from now. And it's just, we could get other people. I don't want that guy. It's got to be someone on a contract. I mean, look how much we're outvaluing them okay they accepted it you can say that we got ripped off but we'll see we i think we have to wait to the draft to see who won this trade really i think we do this is gonna be a really long episode um so now we gotta trade suban and again people are gonna rip me apart probably saying that this Ain't a realistic trade, but whatever. We're going to go to Arizona. I believe it was Arizona. They're a hopeful team to win it this year. When I'm talking about the future, they're a hopeful team to win it this year. But the problem is they don't have a starting goalie. Now let's look at this team real quick, objectively. You know, let's just let's do it like this. So their centers, first line center, Merkley, Strom, one, two, three. They have three centers for the future. Skinner, he's not going to be around forever, but they got this guy too, this guy, this guy. All their guys are in their mid-20s besides Skinner. And then they got this guy, Rucknin who is going to be an amazing player. Which is why I don't think they will miss La Carte. We were gonna, I think we were going to draft him, actually. We either passed on him or he was one before us. I can't remember. But La Carte. Sergei La Carte. Why does this make sense for them? They're a hopeful team. They don't have a goalie. They have a decent team as it is that could win this year. Probably won't, but could. They have enough prospects in the pool for their forward core. Defensively, they got decent defensemen. Chicharin kind of stalled, but... My point, essentially... Is they don't necessarily need this guy. We want a center for the first line. Yes, we have Pasternak, but he's not for the long, long-term future. And he's only 88, and I'm hoping this guy gets up to 90 overall, 90-plus overall. So that trade right there probably wouldn't go through. So that's where we got to go to other methods. First off, we took a guy from him, so we'll give him our second-round pick, which is going to be a pretty good pick. Next, 
we're going to give him Hornquist. If Subban doesn't work out, Hornquist could end up being a goal their starter in the future. It would take a few years, but I've seen 60 overall top six and starting people make it up to 85, 88 overall at most, but he could end up being something. We're going to throw him in there. They want him. So they don't want to give up this guy, but they want our second. They want a, They need a goalie. They don't want a goalie. They need a goalie. They have prospects in the pool, and they will accept it. There are two big trades, blockbuster trades. I'm going to edit the lines and everything, guys, and we'll get some simulating done. Okay, I'm back, and I uh, just realized something that you guys probably knew the whole time. I probably put it at the beginning of this video, but uh, for some reason, I could not remember that we traded away David Pasternak. Um, it's not that I forgot that we decided to rebuild. It's not that I forgot that I made a bunch of trades. Um, it's just I didn't think we traded him away because he would help Geek grow, but then I remembered... You know, we did really want to rebuild. And the, the, the reason why I think that I still thought we had him, I could I could swear before I started recording this episode, um, I was looking at our team, seeing what we needed for free agency just to fill out the roster, and I could swear I saw David Pasternak there. But obviously I didn't. So that's that. I made our lines. You might say, think some of these people shouldn't be in the NHL yet, but there's certain reasons here, so... The first line, I actually might even change this. I think that's what I'm going to go with. So, I want Geek to get points. The problem is, we don't got a very, as long as Geek and, and Velarde get points. I don't care how bad this offense is. Um, so I want him to get points. So we put DeBrusk there and we'll put a two way forward in Gergensen. Uh, so the second line Kokluchev, two way forward, and Sniper Jung. I wanted someone who can. I just liked him better as our second liner. I didn't want to put Smetheson because I wanted him to be with Velarde to get points. So I called up Jung to fill him in there. Maybe he'll do something. Uh, but Trera is a left winger, so we'll just leave him over here. Maybe he'll do something. Maybe he won't. He is a top six overall forward. <sighs> the problem with the comps, well, we drafted him in the first year, first overall in 2017. Probably a big mistake. Uh, I wish I would have picked... Uh, who's that defenseman? Lola Grin. Wish I would have picked Lola Grin. Or, why did I take Nolan Patrick, is what I'm... 2017. I'm not even sure how he ended up on our team. I think, uh, I think we traded for him. Because we wouldn't have picked first. Oh, we, did we trade? I don't know. I should remember this stuff, but I play so many of these offline, some details get confused. Either way, he's 22. He appears he's not going to grow anymore. He's been 79 for a while. Maybe putting him in the NHL will help. Maybe give him a boost, but I don't expect him to grow in anything. Defensively, Saboro, Morrow, Carlo, Biddington, Niamalainen, and uh, Norm Dolan. The power play looks pretty much like that. Uh, the AHL squad, I actually didn't didn't edit any. Probably should have. I actually was going to, but some commotion came up. And this is actually the next day from the first half of the video. Because some, some of my family members were being rather loud yesterday. Goalies. Okay, we definitely want to change this. Do we want him... Or we, 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 we signed that guy to be the starter. We want to make sure that this guy is the backup. Okay. 
anyone scratched that has huge potential. Seventh D man. Top nine. And we want Bakos in there. And we want this guy, Bader. Okay. I want Steen in there, actually. Okay, who can come out? This guy, 33. Get out of here, Mueller. And this guy can come out. Four. Not him. Bader. Okay. That's everything. We're going to do a good amount of simulating. Long episode. I apologize. But I want to get through these rebuilding years. They're kind of boring. I'm sure that some of you are skipping through this video. I think we'll go to the trade deadline. Probably won't make any trades at the trade deadline. But that's a decent stalking place. We can finish the season and then do the draft in the next episode. Some longer episodes, guys. Okay. So first we're going to do the big four on this side. The Canada and America forwards. Three weeks. If we see any guys that could be elite potential, we're going to scout them. Okay. If there is no one, we'll move over to the other side and do some areas. If I'm not seeing many good forwards come the trade deadline or, or so, then we'll switch to the defenseman. The problem is, man, is this is not, not enough time to, like, if you want to focus on two positions, it's not enough time to really focus. You know, you could scout one week for everything, but that doesn't help you very much see who's going to be good and who's not. So we're hoping that we do bad. We probably won't because I find out when I try to tank in this game, my team ends up being decent. But our overalls is just awful. I can't see how we're we're good. I mean, before we had a good defense, which is why we kind of did decent. But now we don't have a good anything. If we go 0 and 82, we won't even care. I would like Providence to do decent, though. They're not starting off the best. Okay, let's lose some games now, guys. Here we go. We want to be worse in the league, and we want... I already forget the team we freaking traded for first-round pick. That was yesterday. San Jose, is it? I think it's San Jose. Yeah, it was definitely San Jose, unless my memory is just awful. It was San Jose. We want them to do awful, too. Just this year. I hope they do good next year with Dougie Hamilton. I hope that works out. I hope he can contribute for a few years. He's only 28. But for this year, we want them to suck. And somehow we're winning a few games here. Five and seven. Well, I'd like to be not that. Forwards for three weeks. We are going to create a dynasty if it's the last thing we freaking do. I gotta think of stuff to kind of talk about when we're doing this simulating, when we, especially when we're trying to lose. So there's nothing to talk about besides, yeah, we lost. Um, if there's any other games you guys want me to play, let me know. Um, obviously, right now I'm just doing this Minecraft every once in a while, but not very often. Um, my channel's always been kind of one dimensional, unfortunately. Whatever has views, I stick with it. 
I, I can never seem to get more than one game going where they're both successful. Minecraft, my channel took off with my, I don't want to say took off, obviously, I have less than a thousand subscribers, I didn't take off anywhere, but it significantly grew and was successful when I started doing certain Minecraft series. They were getting views, guaranteed 50 views, 60 views. This series doesn't even get that half the time. And then all of a sudden, they started slowing down. They weren't awful, but I took a few months break, and then all of a sudden, it's like Minecraft's dead. And I know that game was kind of like the big hype, and it has kind of, kind of, what's the word I'm looking for? It's kind of imploded on itself. Not man, It's not nearly as popular. Um, so I had to find something else to do. I was still making the Minecraft videos. They were still getting okay views. Maybe 20 to 30 instead of 40 to 50, 60 ish. Um, so I started doing a legacy GM mode. I didn't think it would be successful. It was. I was doing the New York Islanders. And then it kind of took off. Especially, yeah, it pretty much just took off from there. Then NHL 17 came out. I was doing owner mode. Sometimes even more than one series. I want to check those out. I can't really have much success for it. And it just evolved to this right now. Minecraft videos, I upload them now, and they're lucky if they get 15 views. That's just sad. That used to be, like, the life of my channel. So if it's any other games you guys want me to try, if they're successful, I've tried Madden. That didn't get views. You know, I understand they say you should try something and stick with it, and it will be successful, but I don't know. I'm willing to play just about any game anyone suggests. I want to grow this channel, man. I was hoping we would continue growing at a decent rate. And, and we have a little bit. This guy right here, unfortunately, he's a center playmaker. But he is right-handed. He could play the wing. I would like a sniper, but we can definitely scout him just in case. So the WHL. The low bottom six would end up being elite. Some medium bottom sixes. QMJHL OHL Alright, I think we should go through Canada Just a little bit more We have a ton of time After three weeks It's not exactly the most accurate thing Let's go two more weeks And see if that uncovers anything We go two more weeks in each of them Then we'll move across the ocean there to some other areas see if we can find that sniper we actually we have a sniper we traded for my memory is so awful I should like remember this stuff I really should we traded for a sniper so a playmaker wouldn't be bad another sniper wouldn't be awful either it's just a matter of what's there um, I apologize guys I, don't, I can't remember things to save my freaking life the sad part is I can remember certain things like really well, but when it comes to this, I, I just can't seem to remember what I've done yesterday, and that's pretty sad. Good news is Geet is a point per game. Bad news is Velarde not cutting it. Only 10 points from Smithison, only 9 from Comtois. Try Jung next to him. We don't know if that sniper's gonna pan out or not either, so we just gotta find a first line forward. Even a two way forward wouldn't be the worst thing. So we're 500. I'd hope to be a little bit worse, but. What can I do? Dolan is back. Is his name even Dolan? Or is it Nolan? It's Dolan. Another thing we should be considering is should Geet be on the first line? 
because he hasn't grown yet, and he's a point per game. That's kind of... At the, at the end of this episode at the trade deadline, if he's not up to an 88 at least, then I'm probably going to move him down to the bottom line, or the second line. Lose, let's go on a losing streak. There's a good loss. Okay. Oh my gosh, we keep win, lose, win, lose. Just lose some games. It's always tricky doing these tanks because your young players might not grow as fast as if you were winning, uh, which is a little bit of a concern, but we'll see how it pans out. Quit winning games. Okay, we'll go two weeks here and then we will check that out again. It's looking like this is gonna be like a 35 minute, 40 minute video. Which I don't like like videos this long, but oh my gosh, we're back up to 500. Lose games. Geet is literally carrying our freaking team right now, which is a good sign. If you can carry our team when we're this bad. And hopefully he can carry him when we're better. Bakos, you're moving up, my man. No wrong guy. Start through the B. I always get that. So Bakos are what I've already been calling him our bust. Might might turn into something. No, maybe not. At first overall player what they should be but he might turn into something over there Ferrado's injured lose oh my gosh this is the same thing that was happening when we were trying our reboot earlier we were winning when I didn't want to win when we shouldn't have won and and the sad part is we're literally a worse way worse team than that we're still finding ways to win Okay, we'll get to see San Jose's record coming up here. Hopefully, if it shows it, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it just sends right past up. Oh, didn't get to see the Red Wings record. Or San Jose's, but we can look. Oh my gosh, quit winning. San Jose is a little over 500. Can both of our teams just... Oh, I don't want to send that for Can both of our teams just lose some games? Okay, we gotta check out the scouting. This is gonna be a really long video, man. Stick around. Like, look at our overalls. Literally, 88, 88, 85. That's awful. Now, that's gone up a little bit, I believe. Uh, scouting. Howard's still high top six. That leads me to believe he will be an elite player. It's pretty annoying how we scouted him for five weeks. Okay, here we have an exact elite. This guy wasn't showing before. He is a top ten pick from the OHL. So we might have to scout Canada some even more. But first we're going to go into some other areas. The low bottom six. Any low bottom sixes? Low bottom six. This guy could be a sniper. QMJHL, but third round leads me to believe he's a low elite. But maybe not. Okay, so we're going to scout forwards across the pond. We're going to make sure we get a little bit of defensive scouting in just in case. 
we don't get one of these elite guys or we want to go defense instead. So depending on how many people is how long we're going to scout. They have 16 forwards. We're going to go three weeks for them. The other ones will go one or two weeks, depending on the amount of forwards they have. We want to get all our options uncovered here. Do we make our team work for the trade deadline? I'm not sure how much worse we can make it. And still, I mean, like, we could trade away. I don't want to trade away anyone on our first line because Geet's having a killer year. Koklachev could go. On defense, we can trade away some of our defensemen because somehow we're a freaking good team all of a sudden. 28, 23. Lose some games. Oh my gosh. We can freaking rob. We can trade Robin Laner. I'm willing to do that too. We need to lose games and we're freaking winning. I'm serious about to throw this controller. Dude. Oh my god. If I wanted to freaking win, we wouldn't. Lose these next two games. Please keep me sane here. SHL. Oh my freaking god. I'm literally sick of this game. Somehow we have 35 wins all of a freaking sudden. We're literally in a freaking playoff spot with this freaking awful team. Oh, I'm going to like break something. I, I cannot tank to save my freaking life. Geet. Still 87. I think I'm probably going to put him on the second line. I mean, he's gained a lot of morale. But he hasn't grown. Koklachev, you're out of here. Then 42 points. Gone, though. Tell you that right now. Comtois sucks. Joe Moro Gonzo. Can tell you that much. And Robin. Freaking laner, Gonzo. Why can't I? Like, why can't I lose? Is what I want to know. If the season ended right now, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We'd have the fourteenth overall pick and then would be in the playoffs, which means our pick would suck. I don't even know what to do. Just let me know what I should do. I mean, I I don't know why I can't lose. This game is so annoying. Like I'm pretty. I'm literally like telling this game to let me lose, and it won't. <laughs> I'll see you in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, let's actually real quick. This guy. No, that's not him. Is that guy in the AHL? That's not he. Or he must be. Okay, guy we traded for is in the uh, CHL, I guess. So I'll see you in the next episode, guys.